Hey guys, welcome back to Suburban Ranch. Today, we're gonna to be tackling one of the worst projects to do on your GMT 400, and that's removing the lower control arm ball joints. These ball joints are riveted in place from the factory, and they're an absolute bear to get out. But we're gonna show you how to do it quick and easy. All right guys, so here we have our lower control arm, and we're actually looking at the bottom of the control arm here. And these are the four rivets that we need to remove in order to remove this lower ball joint. Uh, so like I said, these rivets um, are really, really tough to get out. I did a little bit of experimenting on the other control arm and I found it best to attack these from the bottom side, like what we're showing here in the video. So the first step is to uh, punch the center of each of these rivets uh, to center our drill bit. So we're just gonna use a small punch and a hammer. So we've got our drill with an eighth inch drill bit and we're going to drill down uh, through the center of the rivet. We only need to go about, oh, probably about a half an inch deep. We just need to get below the surface uh, of this control arm uh, because after we're, we're done drilling the top of these rivets, uh, we're gonna come in with a um, air chisel and actually knock the heads of these rivets off. Uh, so we'll start with the eighth inch, we'll step up a couple of sizes and then we'll knock the heads off of the rivets. Next up, we're going to step up to a quarter inch drill bit. Um, we are using a little bit of just WD-40 to keep the drill bit nice and cool as we're drilling into these rivets. And last up, we're gonna use a 7 16 drill bit. Now that we have a hole drilled in the center of each of these rivets, we'll come at the head of each rivet with this air chisel. And I'm just using a, a flat bladed chisel here. And we should be able to knock the heads right off of these rivets. So now that we've knocked the heads off the rivets, this is what they look like. Uh, I'll run my 7 16 drill bit into each of these holes again, just to clean up the bottom of the holes uh, so that our punch can sit right against the rivet and drive it out. So back to the 7 16 drill bit. And you can see I did not really drill that deep, just kind of below the surface uh, of the control arm on each of these rivets. I'm just gonna clean up the bottom of each hole. And that's gonna give my punch a really nice place to ride. Had to straighten up the piece of metal there. Now I should be able to get the drill in. Here you see we have a very sophisticated punch which consists of an old bolt and a pair of ice grips uh, to hold it, and a three pound sledgehammer, and a few wax with the sledgehammer, and we should be able to drive each one of these rivets out. So we're still having trouble hammering this last rivet out, so I'm gonna go ahead and drill it a little bit deeper. All right, we're gonna give it another shot here. We gotta drill it a little bit deeper. Whew, that one 
one was a real bear to get out of there. But we've got all four of the rivets out. So the ball joint should just slide right out now. So there we go. There's the original ball joint. Good news is that all of the aftermarket ball joints just bolt in place. So we'll never have to deal with these rivets again. Well, I hope you guys found that useful. We did some experimenting on the other control arm before shooting this video. And what we just showed was the best method that we could find to remove those rivets. If you enjoyed this content, please do subscribe.